Welcome back guys to yet another video, KKC Productions here. And today I've gotten a few requests on my YouTube channel about doing another update of my room, home theater setup, man cave, however you want to call it. And today I'm going to show you guys what I got going on and what have I did since my past other videos. Um, I've gotten some really good views on uh, my last update video. Actually I think it's got better than the uh, actual first video so that's really really good to see um, I have my new camera on comparing it to my last video so here I can show you guys it actually coming out and looking so much better so I upgraded a few things show you guys um, some of the tables and some of the stands that I've gotten just to make the room look a little bit better so remove some of the chairs that I got so we'll see you guys can see what we got going um, and let's get down to the video and show you guys what I got going on in store for you guys today all right guys, here we go. Not sure where to start, but you can see just a little bit around the room what we got going on. First, let's start over in this area here and here. You see I have my chair still, my home theater chair, which I love, very comfortable and still looks great. This is different. If you guys remember from my last video, this desk, I was actually using this desk for my computer right here. Um, recently, we moved a desk that I had in the house and I've customized the other desk. So I moved this desk that I was using previously. It's got a little bit, it's a little small. And we, I moved it over to the side of the room and I also don't have my futon anymore. I got rid of that. So I got this desk here with the printer on it for now until we find somewhere to put the printer maybe put move it to a whole different room and whatnot but here we can see I got this desk here so maybe we can have like a LAN party and have other people um, playing games all at the same time which should be really cool I'm um, here I have a nice little box cabinet table however you want to say but I was able to get my speaker on top of it which is a main thing for me I'll make sure the speakers fit everywhere um, I just like the color on it and it's got a nice wood texture just to brighten up the room a little bit um, so everything else is pretty much the same for this area. The bed's still in the same spot. Let's come around to this corner here. I have another one, another table here. You can see I have my awesome remote, my clock, that um, daylight clock. That's really cool. Um, I've been able to store all my video games here, some controllers. Um, I can also put some junk in there inside the uh, cabinets. Speakers there. This is another improvement. I got a dresser here, so I'm not using my big, huge black dresser that I had. I painted that. This one looks so much better. It's a nice modern look to it. And also my speaker fits on top of that really well. So that's pretty much the same. If we turn around here, you guys can see my biggest upgrade. One of my biggest upgrades is this stand for my TV. Um, it's a very nice stand. It's able to hold all my stuff just right. And also this TV, this TV is very heavy. So it's about 125 pounds. So it has to be able to withstand the weight of this TV. Um, everything's nice and organized. Controllers, I got my home network here. My AV unit to make sure everything's powered and safe and protected. All that is nicely managed here. And this is the same texture, the same type of styled material as the, uh, my other drawers and cabinets that I put in installed but this is a big thing for me is being able to fit this huge you know it's got six and a half inch speakers and a tweeter in there and it's able to fit this inside of the inside of this whole entire area here so that was my biggest concern in finding a table and these you can probably find them for like a hundred bucks so that's really really good um, here I was actually able to move my speakers out further without it being in the way of the door and the subwoofer still fits all in this area. So now when the screen comes down up top, the speakers are no longer blocked by the screen and also my center channel, which was a big concern for me last time. Um, and that fits over here in this corner. Got my microphone for the videos. And here we can see one of my also biggest changes in my video. I put this desk in, this is the bigger desk I was talking about. It fits my Mackie speakers, which I'll have a link in the description for the video on that. You can see my light, there's another video for that. Let's go ahead and move this chair out the way. Might as well stick it over here where this desk is. Here it is, 
here's my whole entire setup for my computer, my build, uh, my awesome keyboard, my mouse, my screen, except this one. This one, it works. It's just my little extra screen for now until I end up getting something later. Um, I come down to here. I This was all an enclosed cabinet, so I kind of customized it just a little bit. And now you can see my awesome desktop build here in the corner with the lights going and everything, so that's really nice. I kind of changed a few things. It's temporary for now. But when I put the screen down, it now comes straight down without having any obstructions in this area here. So that's a really, really nice feature. Um, so that's pretty much it for the room. Um, I can show you guys me putting the screen down and uh, showing you how it looks a little bit better than it was because I don't have to have any horizontal lens shifts or anything. So it works so much better. Um, so let's go to that, show you guys exactly how the screen looks a little bit better, and then we'll finish up this video. Well, there we go. Um, took a second, but for you guys, I sped that up, and you guys get to see the screen coming down. Come over here. It's got a just missed my desk there you can see here are the speakers see the screens not blocking it down here screens not blocking it and of course over here screen isn't blocking my other speaker so now I don't have to worry about sound distortion or anything because the screen will be blocking that audio signal now let's come on down around over here to my remote and I can just press my setting on the remote, and it'll go ahead and turn everything on for me. So let me go ahead and change some of these lights off and we can see. Off. Off. Oh, we're getting there. I got Ooh, that is dark. There it comes on. Come on down. Let's get this going. All right, if you guys here can see the screen looking really, really nice. Just give it a second to warm up. You can see a little glare coming over here. That's probably just from my uh, light coming through here. There we go. Oh, perfect. Absolutely nothing. So everything looks really, really nice. Um, you can see the colors look really nice and everything's nice and crisp. Um, down at the edges, everything's, see it's a little off. I just have to adjust the projector a little bit, but it is not bad at all. I was able to get it as close as I could to the bottom of the screen. And then coming around here, everything's pretty much spot on to the edge. So me actually moving the screen I did move the actual screen up forward. It was, see it was back about this way and I moved it up so I can bypass all of this extra stuff back here. So it's so much better. You can see the colors look really, really nice. Um, I'm not gonna actually go through anything because copyright and all that extra stuff. I don't wanna have to deal with all that. But this, you can see just from the colors, everything looks really nice and I can't go wrong. You can't, still cannot go wrong with this projector. It is just such a great projector. I never even use my TV anymore, which is pretty sad. This projector just works so well, even with gaming and anything with the computer, it works so, so well. So, let me go ahead and move the screen up again and end the video, see what else you guys want. All right, guys. I thank you guys for watching again my other update video that I've gotten so many requests for. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and you guys stay tuned for more content on my room setup, my home theater, my computer, and also I've been putting a lot of stuff on my car up. So I thank you guys for all watching that stuff. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And I will see you in the next one. And stay tuned for more. And let me know if you guys want any more different content for any of my videos. So I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more.